Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to cover the new Team of the Week as well as the community selections for Team of the Week. And they had some pretty big X Factor implications as well as we head into the Christmas break. I want to thank everyone for the subscriptions and coming to hang out live on my streams on twitch.tv slash no sleeves 12. I do appreciate it. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a like as it does help out with the YouTube algorithm. All right, let's get into all of the new content today in NHL. We'll kick things off with the team of the week, and we've got the 87 Troy Terry with buzzing as well as light the lamp. He's got 89 speed, 88 acceleration, 93 agility, and high 80 shooting. Hand stats are pretty good as well. This is a pretty well-rounded right-handed winger. However, I think that... Because he is 87 overall, he might cost a little bit over 30k. There might be some cheaper options for you. In all honesty, I'd still rather go out and get the 88 team of the week Barzal. But he's not a bad option for sure if you get the synergies activated on him. Then we've got the big one. The 89 Anze Kopitar buzzing and heart and soul. Speeds up to 88, acceleration to 87, and agility at 90. He's a gigantic guy at 6'3 with great defensive abilities as well. If you pack this card, he could be a very usable center for you if you don't want to spend on his X Factor, but this is what we've been waiting for as uh, Anze Kopitar finally gets an upgrade. Then we've got the 88 William Nylander with Protector and Booming Shot, which I really like, and this is a pretty good right-handed winger with 91 speed, 91 acceleration, and 97 agility. Shot is above 90, Deking's at 97, and defensively, defensive awareness is up at 91. This is a pretty well-rounded 88 overall winger, and I will say this, the 88s are going for a pretty good value because they're not uh, included and needed in any sets yet that'll probably change when team of the year comes out so um, this could be a nice buy up until then we've got the 86 taylor hall light the lamp and applesauce taylor hall always one of the better hut cards 92 speed 91 acceleration and wrist shot accuracy up at 91 his hand stats are all very good as well again for anyone looking for a fast left-handed winger taylor hall cards are always some of the better go-to ones a good mix of size and speed jonathan taves gets an upgrade as well light the lamp buzzing Always a very good center, just like Anze Kopitar. Six foot two, speeds at 89. Honestly, this is very, very close to Anze Kopitar. I'd probably, in some instances, rather have him. It's all going to depend on synergies and things like that and what you need, but this would be a great centerman as well if you're struggling to find someone that isn't a master item or an X-Factor. Johnny Goudreau gets up to 87 with Booming Shot Gladiator. 93 speed, 93 acceleration, and a 96 agility with Booming Shot on. Shots above or around 90 as well. I'd rather have Taylor Hall, but this is a very good skater just because he is only five foot nine so he's going to be a defensive liability he is going to fly so if you're looking for a fast left-handed winger this johnny goudreau is very good for you he could chuck at 86 does have a good synergy mix but at six foot four that's great but his size is just very very or his, his uh his skating is just very slow and in all honesty, you know, you can't really use him at center, so this would be a pass for me. Sean Couturier gets an upgrade as well. We'll talk about his up his X Factor in a little bit. Six foot three, 87 speed, 88 acceleration. His X Factor is very good. This one, not so much. Ryan Nugent Hopkins in 85 with Applesauce booming shot. Same kind of situation. He's only six foot and his skating isn't all that great. So this would probably be a pass for me if I did pack up. Tyler Sagan. Has Thief as well. This is a nice right-handed winger as well. He should be going for pretty cheap. 90 speed, 90 acceleration, good size, and with Thief activated, has some pretty good defensive abilities as well. Nice, well-rounded card. Could play him at center as well. Bo Horvat gets Spark and Buzzing. Uh, not enough here. He's not all that tall. Uh, his shot isn't all that great, so this would there's better options for you at 86 overall. Some Kadri at six foot with applesauce and buzzing, 89 speed, 88 acceleration. Same kind of situation, not all that elite. However, his defensive stats are pretty good. He could be a nice center for you for your lower lines. Even if you are just starting out, this could be a cheaper option. On defense, we've got the 86 Darnell Nurse bombarded, buzzing. Six foot four, the 87 speed, 86 acceleration. I'd probably still rather have that Seth Jones master item. So, uh, wouldn't, you know, it's not bad, but I think that there are better options if you're looking for a big defenseman. However, he's left handed, so I will say that. He is going to be a bit better. Be, I mean, I'd still, Hedman is still a little bit slower, and we're at a point now where speed's kind of at a premium. This isn't a bad left handed defenseman. Brett Sider's up next with 84 speed. Uh, he's got light the lamp and buzzing 87 ex uh, speed with 86 acceleration. This is the right-handed version of Darnell Nurse. Still a little slow right now, so I, I don't know if I would I would invest in him. He's going to get blown by along the boards pretty easily. Shea Theodore's up to 88 workhorse as well. We'll talk about his X Factor. This is a nice card. 6'2", 88 speed, 90 acceleration. Uh, his shot power is up at 94. Defensively, he's pretty good. This is starting to become one of the better, uh, you know, middle-tier defensemen, but uh, he is going to cost quite a bit because he is an 89 overall. 
Then we've got the 85 Eric Carlson, Gladiator, and Buzzing. 90 speed, that's always going to be effective. Only six foot and low body checking, though. I think they're probably better options. And honestly, his base card is almost as good. So uh, I don't know. He'd have to be going for the bare minimum. And then we've got the 88 Aaron Ekblad. Um, six foot four is great, but I think that I'd rather have more at Cider, just the synergy. So still very good, but just a little slow at this point. Then we've got the idiot Connor Hellebuck, who actually looks like he could be pretty good. 75 aggression, and then six foot four, 90 glove low, 89 glove high with no timer. This could be really nice. Then we've got Freddie Anderson as well. Post to post is now one of the best, obviously, superstar abilities. You've seen me talk about Carey Price. 74 aggression. Again, this could be a nice uh, goaltender for you. Let me know in the comments section. I was, uh, I'm always interested about people that try out these goaltenders. Then we got some new Superstar Origin cards. We've got the 90 overall Joe Mullen, 510 with Spark, as well as Workhorse and Distributor. 91 speed, 91 acceleration, and a very good shot. Body checking's great as well. This isn't a bad card at all. I feel like a lot of people are going to kind of overlook this, but if you get both synergies activated, he's got over 90 skating. And again, cards that have these two synergies are helpful because they, again, help you activate them on other cards. So this could be a nice pickup as well. He's got a very good shot for you. Then we also got the Sedins. We'll start with Daniel. He's got Wingman and Buzzing. Just not enough skating, in my opinion. I mean, you could play him at center, uh, but I think there's better options for you. So it's kind of a letdown a little bit um, because just, yeah, his skating is super mediocre. Henrik, same situation. He's got Buzzing and Wingman. 88, and it's a little bit higher, obviously, plus one. But his shot is kind of weak for an 88 overall. I just think there are better options. Like I said, like Akil Thomas would be much more beneficial for you. His Superstar Origins card. Taking a look at some of the X-Factor upgrades now as Shea Theodore gets Thief as well as Distributor and Booming Shot. You add that up, he's got 90 speed, not 88 acceleration, and actually up to 93 agility with Booming... Or, sorry... Uh, with uh, Thief activate, he's got 97 defensive awareness, 95 six check, and got mixed up there. This started to become a pretty well-rounded card, honestly. I know that I don't think he's one of the better left-handed defensemen because uh, Dougie Hamilton kind of takes that, and you've got Chris Letang already at 92. Uh, but if you've got him untradeable and you've already invested, he's still fairly cheap to upgrade, and if he can touch 90 skating now, that's not bad. I just don't think his synergy or his superstar abilities are all that great for defensemen. Couturier gets a bump to 87 with Booming Shot and Spark as well as Fly the Zone. So he does have 89 speed, 86 acceleration. Honestly, I'd probably put Spark on him uh, with Booming Shot. Helps out his agility as well up to 90. Very well-rounded center. Like, you could use this card for a while. I don't know how, how long it'll be before he gets another upgrade, though. However, guys, if you bought him to try to flip him, now would be be the time to get out. I think X-Factor cards are going to start hitting their peak that they can hit uh, before they just keep continually getting cheaper and cheaper. So this is a phenomenal centerman. Just He's kind of getting left behind now with the lack of upgrades, and he just got one, and it's nothing all that crazy. However, Anze Kopitar now up to 89 distributor as well as Thief, uh, which is just a great combo. 89 speed, 87 acceleration is 6 foot 3. Uh, hand stats are all great. His, his defensive stuff is all maxed out, essentially. Good shot and as quick pick and tape to tape for a centerman. Very well rounded. This is an end game center if he continues to keep getting upgrades, which I think he will. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. However, with the team of the week selection, I doubt he gets. Um, I, I doubt that he gets uh, a master set player, but it was a community selection, so who knows? But I know a lot of people were asking about that. I just don't know if he will get an event card again. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today's content. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one.